morning. Let's begin with a prayer for all the people in the Keys right now, all the people in Florida. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and the hour of our death. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Spirit. On the screen, we've got the three words beauty, truth, and goodness. And our philosophical tradition, not just in the West, but in the East, says that the way we know God is through beauty, truth, and goodness. And that's how we know a good person as well. There's something beautiful about them, you know, physically, but there's a beauty. Uh, and if something is true but not beautiful or good, it's not as appealing. If something is beautiful but not good or true, it's just a duck. And what happened was the Holy Spirit guided the church to let us see we could use beautiful things in our churches. And so I want to talk about some of those beautiful things today. The key is the book of Revelation for what we're going to talk about this morning. Book of Revelation, specifically chapters 4 and 5. And the key in our church is up here. You see where I'm pointing? We got the eight uh, saints here. There's St. John. He's holding a scroll here. And this is a quote from Revelation 5, 12. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and blessing. So this whole uh, design of the church is shown as the earlier churches were. So that we would participate in the heavenly worship which is going on forever and ever in heaven. And the angels are calling it out. And our church, along with the ancient churches, is decorated and shown so that we will understand that. Now, the first slide here we have, at once I was in the spirit and there was before me a throne in heaven with someone sitting on it. And again, depicted here in our church, in the full depiction, there would be a throne. Now, this is an interesting uh, slide. This shows what St. Peter's in Rome would have looked like for 1,200 years. It was destroyed in the 15th century because it was falling down and people in Rome were mad about it, but they tore it down and built the new one, the one that we see today. But there you see there's Jesus seated on the throne, and from him on the throne are the streams of life-giving waters. And again, in our church, the Holy Spirit is symbolized here, if life-giving waters is symbolized Above with the dove, the Holy Spirit flowing from the throne. Then the angel, Revelation 22, showed me the river of the water of life as clear as a crystal flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb. So the Holy Spirit flows from God. And the Holy Spirit comes to us, as we see in our church, through the seven sacraments, as well as through the Word of God. Now, St. Peter's was built over the place where St. Paul, excuse me, St. Peter died. St. Paul's was built over the place where St. Paul was buried. And again, on the screen, you can see these mosaics from the 5th century. They're very old. And this is the, the plan on which our church was designed. So there's Jesus in the center, surrounded by the four living creatures and the elders, and then with St. Uh, Peter and St. Paul. Revelations 4, 3. And the one who sat there had the appearance of jasper and ruby, a rainbow that shone like an emerald and circled the throne. How do you depict that? Well, this is how the artists in the 5th century tried to depict it. All these beautiful colors coming off of the Lord. And here in our church, we have these beams coming, uh, again, to show the beauty of the Lord in St. John's song. Revelation 4, 3, and the one who sat there had the appearance of Jasper and Ruby, etc. Okay. All right. Surrounding the throne were 24 other thrones, and seated on them were the 24 elders. They were dressed in white and had crowns of gold on their heads. So the original, you see the 24 elders casting down their thrones. Father Meyer wanted to show that everybody is called holy not just the presbyters who are the priests of the church. And so there are men and women, men over here, and this is probably St. Mark de Porres, St. John here, and then women, and then the one woman in the religious habit of St. Catherine of Siena. So men and women and people who are married, single, and celibate, everybody is shown. We're all called to holiness. Again, it's not just decoration. It's to show us what God is calling us to. 
Revelations 4, 6, 7. In the center around the throne, there were four living creatures, and they were covered with eyes in front and in back. The first living creature was a lion, the second was an ox, the third had the face like a man, the fourth like a flying eagle. And again, you can see those here. In our church, we don't have them depicted. There probably wasn't enough room. But each of those four signs in the book of uh, Revelation or the Apocalypse represent the four Gospels. And so while we don't see them up here, they're proclaimed from the, the pulpit because Jesus comes to us through the Gospels. Right. I'm over time. I'll be back next week.